We are now less than two days away from the opening of <laughs> Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at Hollywood Studios. It opens to the public on Thursday. So Disneyland opened its version back in May, but now it is Central Florida's turn. It sure is. The new land takes Disney, Disney guests out of this world and to the planet Batu. News 6's Nadine Giannis is live at Hollywood <laughs> Studios. And Nadine, this is the day where media got the sneak peek at what guests will see in less than two days. And I can tell by looking at you, you seem to have liked what you saw. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was amazing, Julie. Actually, Ginger had mentioned we're on the planet of Batu. The greeting here, bright suns. So bright suns to you ladies. We are getting immersed. That's what Disney is calling this experience. The moment you leave Disney's Hollywood Studios to here to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. This is a concept that was dreamed up from one right here at Hollywood Studios Star Tours now to a 14 acre experience. And we got to walk all around it today. Take a look. Bright suns. Bright suns. Bright suns. From the moment you step onto the planet of Batu, you are on an adventure at the edge of the Star Wars galaxy. You're on the edge of wild space. You're in a, this thriving spaceport. You get to pilot the Millennium Falcon. You get to taste blue milk. It's all the things that you've been wanting to do. Some people, like me, since 1977. The choices for guests, called transports here on Batu, get to choose who they will fight for. Raise your safety. You can even build your personal lightsaber as you decide if you want to fight for the resistance or for the first order. From the droids to the drinks, Disney wants this to be an immersive experience. Now, all throughout the planet of Batu, you can get yourself a cold drink called Bantha Milk. Now, this was a drink made famous in episode four. This was Luke Skywalker's milk. Here at Hollywood Studios, you can get green milk or blue milk, and we spoke to the chef about what's in it. I taste like I want to say like con candy or bubble gum. Am I like way off on this? No, you're not way off. It's a plant-based beverage. Mm. So it's rice and coconut milk based. Mm. Um, and it's got some undertones of watermelon and dragon fruit. Along with other food named after animals seen in the original Star Wars movie set in 1977, a force Imagineers had to reckon with when creating the planet. Especially when you're building something new or something new to the guests. Uh, it had to feel like it's been lived in forever, like it's been explored and, and, and disputed and, and you know, discovered. Um, and hopefully that's what we've been able to do. And so those were just some of the experiences we saw, but what about those rides, including the Millennium Falcon? The experience here is you get to become a smuggler. Also, we got a sneak peek at the ride opening here in December, the rise of the resistance. I cannot wait to show you that. And ladies, the color of my lightsaber was green from Yoda. I was channeling my inner Yoda, so I guess I should say green, the color is. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Nadine, I don't think I've ever seen you happy. That's hard to say. <laughs> Thank you. So happy, guys.